Hello. Welcome to this video, in which we will look at how backorder processing will help you protect supply for your most important customers in S4 HANA. We will start examining the benefits to be achieved, by using backorder processing. You will prioritize the most urgent customer demands. You will safeguard supply for the most important customers. You will improve inventory turnover and faster orchestration of deliveries. Before we head on to the system demo, let's look at the keyword. The definition from Apex is, in logistics, the quantity of a finished good that is or will be available to commit to a customer order based on the customer's required ship date. To accommodate deliveries on future dates, ATP is usually time-phased to include anticipated purchases or production receipts. Time-phased means that the different receipts and issues of material has known dates. In planning, for example of customer allocations, we often work also with what we call time buckets. A time bucket is freely defined, and can be a day, a week a month or even a year. Before we head on to the system demo, let's look at the concept. Classic ATP logic works on a first-come, first-served basis. The first order will get stock allocated first, then the second, then the third. In advanced available to promise, backorder scheduling, the different sales orders are divided into five categories. When looking at requirements, the backorder processing reallocates stock to the different customer segments. The lowest segment, lose, will relinquish its promised stock first, then it moves all the way to the top, where win segment always will get the available quantities to be delivered. Which sales order which gets into which segment, is possible to set up specifically for each company using the functionality. In this demonstration we will see the following happen. We have 5 sales orders, which have received confirmation based on time of entry in the system. We will the use a backorder processing variant, which contains 2 buckets. Win and redistribute. Lastly, we will look at the results from the backorder run. Let's now look at the system. We use the app, configure BOP variant. We enter our variant, which is the AATP BOP variant. In the variant we can easily see how the variant is set up. In the win segment, we can see that it is valid for rush orders, order type ZOR2. It is also valid for two specific customers. The redistribute segment contains three other customers. Let us first look at the segment 1A. In this segment we can see that it is relevant for rush orders, which is ZOR2 sales order document type. We can also see that we sort these rush orders by delivery date, in case we would receive rush orders with longer horizons. Next up we examine segment 2A. Here we can see that we have two separate criteria. Both are based on sold to party, as these are customers which always should be prioritized. We can see that this condition is also sorted by delivery date. Finally we look at segment 3A, which is sorted under redistribute. We have three separate criteria. These are again based on sold to party. Remember that the redistribute segment will lose its confirmations to the win segment customers, in case of stock shortage. Now we will look at the results of the backorder run. We select the run. We can see that we have two sales orders in the win segment. The bottom one is a rush order due today, and the other one belongs to the customer group A, with orders due today or tomorrow. We can also that the sales order 35,772 has increased its confirmation by 20 pieces. The final sales order, 35,773, now confirms the entire quantity instead of zero. In the redistribute segment, you can see that the two lower sales orders, 35,770 and 35,771, both have lost their confirmed quantities to the win segment. Hence, the more important customer was served, as was the customer with the rush order. The functionality shown in this video, regarding backorder processing, is available in S4 HANA Advanced Available to Promise, both cloud and on-premise versions. Let us complete this video, by repeating the benefits by using the backorder processing. You will prioritize the most urgent customer demands. You will safeguard supply for the most important customers. You will improve inventory turnover and faster orchestration of deliveries. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.